Hey guys, my name is Jaden Irwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use this new Astro Insanity Minimal Starter that I created. Um, no surprise, some more Astro Insanity content, some of my favorite tools out there right now. Um, this one is mostly based off of that previous Minimal Starter that I created for Astro. Um, but this one, instead of using the local um, markdown files for your blog post. This is actually using Sanity as the CMS for all of those blog posts. Um, and it shows you how to kind of set up a connection to a Sanity CMS and how that could look. So um, let's go ahead and hop in. I will link the repo below if you want to take a look and follow along with me. You absolutely can. Um, I do have it locally here already. And the README is pretty comprehensive to just follow step by step on how to get this set up. Um, but just to cover the bases here, you will want to um, obviously create your own repo off of it. And then you'll want to install the Sanity CLI globally. Um, or you don't technically have to do it globally. You might just want to run some MPX commands. If you're familiar with that, go for it. Um, but the Sanity CLI is super useful to get started with Sanity quickly um, and kind of manage your Sanity projects easily. So feel free to install the CLI. Um, you'll want to open a terminal and then you'll hop into your Sanity folder inside that terminal, which I already have that open. And you will want to run Sanity install and Sanity init. Sanity init will help you create a new Sanity project and connect your account and everything. And then once that's done, you will want to run npm run GraphQL deploy, and that will walk through walk you through a couple of steps of setting up a GraphQL environment for your Sanity project, because this is going to be using GraphQL on the front end to query the Sanity database. Um, you'll navigate to your Astro folder, rename the env, which this is the .env .template file, rename that to just .env. I like to just copy the file and then uh, paste it. It's kind of an easy way, or you can just rename it. And then you will replace the Sanity Project ID with your own Sanity Project ID that it gives you in the CLI. And then you'll also want to replace the project ID inside this GraphQL URL, or you can replace the whole URL. Um, it will give that to you also in the CLI. So let's go ahead and get this studio running though, so you can kind of see what this looks like. So we're going to run sanity start. And that'll take just a second to compile and it will be running at localhost 3333 when it's done. And mine's already going to log me in because I've logged in on here in the past. And you'll see that the schema here is pretty straightforward. So we have the posts, we have the author for those posts, and the categories. Categories I'm not really going to use right now on this starter. Um, stay tuned for that. I am working on a little bit more comprehensive starter using Sanity and Astro. Um, so that'll be exciting, and that will definitely use the categories. Um, but the post, if we open up one of these posts, you can kind of see that the schema is just what you'd expect for a blog post. There's the title, the slug, the um, author, and the main image. Categories, again, not being used at the moment. And then published at would be the date that it is being published at. And the excerpt, this is going to be just a quick snippet of the blog post. And you will notice that there's some validation on this too. So if we just kind of copy this and paste it a few times, we should get a warning we start to get to more than 200 characters. It's saying, hey, this description shouldn't be longer than, <laughs> and there's a typo in there. I'll have to fix that. Um, this description shouldn't be longer than 200 characters. Um, and that will warn your, um, if you're the one creating a blog post, or it'll warn whoever is creating a blog post, hey, you gotta keep it under 200 characters. We don't want that description to get too long on the front end, and then we have to trim everything up on there. So. You can set that limit to whatever you would like for the warning. Um, I just thought roughly 200 characters is where we would want to be in the ballpark of. Um, just that. And there, the warning goes away. And then there's the body. 
Um, we can drop some lorem ipsum into the body of one of these blog posts. I'll go ahead and do that on my own. And I just like to use the lorem ipsum I think IO. Yep. We'll generate five paragraphs, drop that in and publish. And actually let's go back. I'm going to leave that off for now. I'm going to leave it in my clipboard clipboard and I'll show you how uh, this all works on the front end. So that is the studio, not a whole lot going on in there, um, mainly just the blog posts and then the authors attached to those blog posts at the top there. And let's go ahead and get the front end running in Astro. So I'm going to open up another terminal here and we will cd into astro folder I'm sure we're there and this one should be npm start Take just a second and it'll be running on localhost 3000 so let's just go ahead and open that up and let's go to our blog here's our blog page I'm going to drop in our lorem ipsum and publish that. And there we go. That is all hooked up to our back end there in Sanity. Pretty awesome. So we have our image, we have the title, we have the um, date, and that is a formatted, prettified date. And then uh, our author and the blog post, just like that. And there's our other blog post right there too. So just to go over kind of how this is working on the front end, I can explain that a little bit. Um, your GraphQL queries are all gonna be in this lib folder. So if you go to the lib and then api.js, you'll see that we have the all posts query and then the GraphQL query is right there. And this is the query that's telling it, hey, we need to get all of the blog posts from Sanity. And then um, the way that this is actually being dropped in as a query, you can go into the pages, go to blog, and let's just look at the individual blog post. That's this slug file. And you'll see that what's happening here is we're importing a Sanity GraphQL query helper function that comes from the helpers file. And then we're importing the all posts query from that lib folder that we just looked at. And then we're fetching that. So we're doing an, a top level await and fetch through Astro. And then once we get that back, we're going to convert it to JSON. And we have our RSS feed. You can customize the RSS feed too, which is pretty cool. Um, and then that is being passed in as a post. So the data that's coming back from that sanity query is being passed in as a post prop on the Astro file here. And then we're passing that post into the title of the page. Um, you can see that we're also doing an open graph image. So it's kind of cool that you can just easily pass in that URL for the image as your open graph image. And then the blog post is a component. So if we go to our components, we'll go to our blog post.astro. And this is where all of that data is being mapped through the component. So post.main image, post.title, post.published at, all of that is happening right there. There's some cool little helper functions in here if you want to look at how those are working. Um, that's the format blog post date helper function. And all of our helper functions are in the utils directory and helpers.js. Um, this is a pretty common structure that you'll see in Sanity Starters. That, or at least that I have seen in some of their own starters. So I really just modeled it after the same way that they do their own starters. Um, and it seems to be a really clean way to structure a Jamstack website where you have your helper functions that can have the queries and little things like formatting the blog post date or um, getting the sanity image URL. That's a little helper, uh, I guess, uh, package that they created and you can import that package and use it and we just attached it to a helper function um, and then another one is the blocks to markdown so what we're doing is converting the sanity block content to markdown inside the blog post so you can see that what we're doing is we're going to pull in the post right and then we have a weight convertible portable 
convert portable text to markdown. I could rename that to convert block text to markdown or convert blocks to markdown. Um, I don't think they're really calling th anything portable text anymore. Um, so I can change that. But then we have post.body raw. So that is the raw body content of the blog post being passed into this function that converts it to markdown. And then Astro actually has a markdown component and you can use um, external content and you can pass that into the markdown component, which is really cool. Um, so I just use that markdown component and I'm using the blog post body const that we set up up here as the remote content um, for that markdown component. So really cool that they already have a lot of this set up and I can do more videos on the markdown inside of Astro. There's a lot of changes coming. If you actually look at the blog post that I had on there, you'll see that they have this blog post explaining some new things coming down the pipe for Astro, um, including a conversion or transition over to Vite. So they're going to use Vite instead of Snowpack as their bundler. Um, I've used Vite for a couple of other projects and I really like it. Um, Snowpack is great too. It just seems like Vite is getting a lot of traction right now. There's a lot of developers working on it, so it kind of makes sense for them to move over to something that is being actively developed. So they don't really have to focus on the bundler as much as they would like um, to focus on the compiler for Astro, the Astro language itself. Um, so it's pretty cool. Feel free to check that out. Um, they're moving over to Wasm for their compiler and it's crazy fast. Um, this is a little side tangent. If you are, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're interested in Astro, but if you go to astro.build forward slash play, you can check out their new compiler already. And this is a REPL that they created. So you can run everything in the browser and um, really just test out Astro. So I'll move myself out of the way here. And let's just add in H1. You'll see that this is happening pretty much real time. <laughs> uh, it's all happening in the browser and it's using that new compiler. So it's crazy fast. You can look at the HTML that's being spit out of the compiler and you can look at the JavaScript that's being spit out of the compiler. So pretty awesome. Feel free to check that out. Again, astro.build forward slash play and you can give that a try. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, definitely leave comments below. I'm happy to answer them as best I can. Um, this is a pretty straightforward, minimal starter. Again, there's not a lot of styling or anything on it. Um, I tried to not go crazy with styling the blogs uh, because it is your blog and you can customize the styles. That's the cool thing about Astro too, is you can just put in that style tag and go crazy, make it look the way that you want it to look. Um, but the foundation is there on this starter. So check it out. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.